What's up, guys? Welcome back to Crew Kicks. Welcome, happy happy Tuesday, guys. Second day of the week three of Crew Kicks. Um, I'm Kai Somarfi. Those of you who don't know me, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do put my face in front of the camera instead of just my beautiful ugly hands. But today we're just gonna put the hands again because we are going to be talking about these what the Kyries. Now, a lot of people. This is probably the shoe that breaks the most necks in my collection. This is the shoe that um, a lot of people ask questions about because um, these are Nike IDs, guys. A lot of people, when we, when uh, Swagger Diddy actually wore these to SneakerCon, um, he has his own pair, uh, and I'll explain that in a minute. But um, basically, people were asking if they're customs, people were asking if they're releasing, and uh, you just gotta break it to them like, hey bro, sorry to break it to you, but you can make these yourself. And that's why I made this video because a lot of people do ask me for the options and they ask me how you can make a pair of What The Kyries. Now, I don't know if Nike plans to release a real What The Kyrie, so this is um, the best bet right now. As you can tell straight off the bat, these are inspired by What The Kobe 8s. Um, I think that this is a fantastic, um, inspiration from those like this is perfect like the options that they had on Nike ID go perfect with it now let's go ahead and to get into uh, how it works so basically um, the thing that confuses a lot of people is like how do you make two different shoes so basically you have to buy two pairs of shoes um, I two pairs of Nike IDs which is a little pricey they go for 155 so you have to spend about 300 plus dollar dollars to get both pairs um, so basically you have to make this pair and then you have to make this pair and then when it comes in You're gonna have two pairs of shoes now. I don't have two pairs of shoes because uh, Luckily swag claims to wear the same size as me. So um, he has the other pair um, And I have these pairs so the main point of this video is not to just show these sneakers off The main part of this video is to show you how to make it because a lot of people commented on my Instagram Asking me how to make these so guys Let's go ahead and grab the laptop and let's find out, oh, move the shoes. Let's find out how to make what the Kyrie's on Nike ID. All right guys, welcome to making the what the Kyrie one. Now, um, the reason why I really wanted to make this video is because I'm assuming the Kyrie twos are coming soon. And uh, I wanted to show you guys how to make these before it's too late because the Nike ID option, who knows when they're going to take it down. And um, they do still have the same options, which is pretty cool since I ordered these way long, uh, way long ago. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, again, if you will, if you're, if you want to do this, it's definitely going to cost you 300 bucks. But the good thing about it is like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be easy to sell the extra pair if you don't want to keep both. So um, let's go ahead and do the right shoe. Um, Straight up the mesh overlay, you're gonna go with the University Red, which is pretty simple. The underlay, which I think is a really good feature on the Kyrie, is um, Pine Green. So you wanna go with the Pine Green. Next up is the two finger overlay, uh, underlay, the two finger underlay, which is inspired by when uh, Kyrie's dad, when he was younger, to punish him. He used to make him stand against the wall just using his two, uh, his two fingers to hold himself up. So that's kind of like a life lesson of his that uh, helped him get that helped him become who he is. So they incorporated that into the shoe. Um, I went with the orange on this. I seen other people that who made it too, and they did. A, I think they did fault or something. But I went with the orange, uh, the team total orange. Uh, next up, the heel accent. Uh, my favorite part on the shoe. No, it's not black. I went with the poison green, and we did add speckles. So you want to come down here, and I added some orange speckles. Orange is my favorite color, but because uh, that's what the Kobe's have. Okay, next up, laces. Um, we went with the zigzag laces and we went with these uh, poison green slash vault ones. Um, yeah, that's that. Lining, we went with the poison green again. Swoosh, probably the most important aspect of the shoe is definitely a vault. Next up, the midsole is gonna go with the pine green there's a lot of green and then we do add speckles again and we do add the orange blaze speckles orange blaze and then next up is the outsole and this is where we switch it up from the kobe um because the kobe's not glow in the dark bottom but you know glow in the dark who can go wrong and we're gonna go with the 
Gamma Green. I didn't even know it was called Gamma Green. And you can see there. Basically, that's it. Next up is the Nike ID part of the shoe, the short ID, and you can make whatever you want, but I kept it with just the logo. And same with the inside long ID, I just kept his signature logo on there because, um, first of all, it come, they don't stitch it, so it's most likely gonna come off. And um, I thought there was no point, but there you guys go. That is definitely the right shoe, and it looks sexy as hell. Now, let's get into the right shoe. I mean, the left shoe. Uh, on the left shoe, we're gonna go with the University Blue as the over, uh, mesh overlay. The underlay, we're gonna go with the Team Red, which is like a maroon, kind of like a Cleveland color maroon, basically. Um, the two finger underlay is going to be I'm trying to see what this the bright crimson definitely the bright crimson the heel accent on this one is purple which I absolutely love with the photo blue speckles I love the color of that heel accent on this shoe laces we went with this zigzag again but we went with the game royal slash photo blue Next up, the lining, we went with the bright crimson. Move this thing. Um, swoosh, the most important part of the shoe, is bright crimson. The midsole is going to be blue, game royal blue, with speckles of photo blue. So it's like, I love this thing right here. Just the two combinations right there are just fire. Um, again, bottom, one of my favorite glow in the dark colors, blue. And again, short IDs, long IDs, we leave them with the regular ones. And ladies and gentlemen, there is the left shoe. So, let's add this one to my cart so we can get an exact amount. I'll go to size 10. I'm gonna add it twice just so I can see how much two pairs cost. Uh, take this LeBron shirt out of my cart. Okay, so totally, roughly, uh, with sh their shipping is going to be free, but without tax, it's going to come out to 310 bucks, which I think is really good for two Kyries. And then you're going to be able to sell one for the same price you paid for. So basically, you're paying regular price 155 if you want to keep just one pair. I definitely suggest finding a friend ahead of time who's down to split it with you who has the same shoe size because this is a shoe that. Not a lot of people are going to have if you're into like having uh, exclusives and things like that because a lot of people are not willing to pay that double price. Well, there you guys have it. Nike ID Kyrie's What The Kobe 8 inspired. Um, I'm hoping they don't make a real What The Kyrie because I like mine way better. And um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I tried to do something a little different. And definitely uh, I want to thank you guys for helping Crew Kicks get to where it's at in three weeks. Uh, we're, we're coming in on 25,000 subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys. So if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you guys do subscribe because we have a lot of great content coming soon. Um, and, you know, we're just getting started. Make sure you drop that thumbs up. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe, like I said, and we will see you guys tomorrow with a new video on Crew Kicks.